absolute best regional fast food chains in every state if you're an american and you're watching this video you gotta let me know if they're correct about your state is that fast food the absolute best before we do jump in this like 80 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel if you wanted the 80 percent i appreciate if you can hit that subscribe button down below i'm also posting extra content on my patreon page link will be in the description to the patreon but yeah let's jump in this to check out these fast food chains fast food chains have their own personality quirks and often delicious food Food you can't get anywhere else in the U.S. I agree. If you're planning no, a road, not with. Ooh, ooh, oh, that's a fast food hot dog. Yo, okay, okay. I muted it somehow in excitement. The list of the best regional fast food chains in every state. Practically all of Milo's 17 stores are in Alabama. Milo Hi. Carlton opened his first burger shop in 1946 in Birmingham and experimented on locals to perfect his special sauce, which is still one of the five sauces Milo's. served today. The menu is not extensive, but Milo's sauce gets rave reviews. There are plenty of classic Ooh. and tasty fast food items. And Wait, so... Ooh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Already in the first one, Alabama with Milo's, bro. And it looks way better than UK fast foods. My, oh, I'm so jealous. The chain's Mexi fries is a glorious creation with oh bacon, God. jalapenos, and queso. Milo's sweet tea is also widely admired. Alaska oh God, has few homegrown fast food chains. Arctic Roadrunner does not have a chain empire, but Anchorage locals... Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I go to Alabama, man, and get me some Milo's. I ain't gonna lie, bro. ...and visitors insist it is the best place in the whole state for a burger. In addition to a variety of delicious and Alaska-themed burgers, Hold the Roadrunner on. has specialties... Hold on. Why, why is there a pickle on top of the bun? I'm confused. Why? What, what is... I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, I'm sorry you're lasting, but th th these burgers, they're not, they're not looking it. And I'm so, why is there a pickle on top? Sandwiches and salmon and highly rated halibut burgers. Actually, In the summer, you can enjoy the great Alaskan outdoors, seated by a salmon-filled creek. And in winter, okay. a cozy fire inside is welcomed. You gotta let me With know if that's good. With 25 locations in Tucson, EG's is the place to escape the desert heat by cooling off with an EG, the chain's popular slushy fruit drink. Okay. This iconic chain was started by two high school pals who bought a food truck in 1971 that's and cool sold stuff. subs and their icy creation, which they named... Bro, that, that, is this meant to be a smoothie? It looks like mashed potato. Started by two high school pals who bought a food truck in 1971 oh. and sold subs and their icy creation. It looks like very yellow mashed potato. Which they named by combining the E and G of their names. In addition cool. to regular flavors, EG's also has a regular flavor of the month. The chain also serves lots of subs and grinders. Founded in 2003, Slim Chicken's recipe obviously proved a hit and now has 100 locations throughout the U.S. Oh, wow. With over 50 more planned to open in 2021 alone, according to retail and restaurant facility um. business. The chicken tenders are marinated in buttermilk, cooked to order, oh. and apparently are so darn tasty they do not need a sauce, though wow. there are a lot to choose from. And if the chicken hasn't filled you up, the popular mason jar dessert should do the trick. All right, that looks good. In California, the the battle for the best burger rages on between In-N-Out and the Habit Burger Grill. In our opinion, the Habit, Habit consistently beats In-N-Out as a better burger. The Habit also offers sumptuous sandwiches, salads. Oh my god, that looks so good. Is, is, that, is that onions? Oh my god, that looks so good. Oh my days, that looks so good. Also offers sumptuous sandwiches, salads, and sides oh, that wow. reflect the company's California roots. Oh, you wow. should try both competitors and decide for yourself. But we think you'll agree with the Habit's many fans. Oh. I've never heard of Habit. Times Burgers, Colorado. This Colorado chain made its name by using humanely raised, antibiotic, and hormone-free Angus beef and locally okay. sourced chicken from Springer Mountain Farms. Good Times also has breakfast burritos featuring Hatch Valley green chilies, their signature wild fries, Ooh. and of course, frozen custard shakes and spoon benders. Desserts with mix-ins like the beloved delicious truffles. Yo, I don't think you guys in America actually understand how much you guys get spoiled, right? In the UK, we have McDonald's, Burger King, um, um, KFC, um, Greg's, Subway. I'm trying to think of the fast food places. That's about it. That's about it. And you lot, you you have you have like 
a video on the best of each state. That's how many you got. You have competition in your state. <laughs> I know that like the UK can be the size of one state, but... <laughs> And lest you forget your doggy best friend, Good Times also has a special pop Mad. bender, a sundae with vanilla frozen custard, dog bones, and peanut butter. What? One of the frequently recommended regional chains is Duchess, based in Milford. You're telling me your dogs are probably eating better? <laughs> Connecticut, with 14 locations in the state. Duchess has been serving up quality fast food since 1956 when place. they charged a mere quarter for a burger. Their menu looks similar to other fast food what? joints, but everything is freshly made to order. Okay. People love the Big D cheeseburger and the chicken. The Big D cheeseburger. The Big D. The Big D. Hey, hey, Grandma. I, I don't know why I always use my grandma as a reference, but... Grandma, what are you ordering? I'm ordering the Big D. What? Huh? <laughs> Bro, what? You're calling your burgers Big D? Caesar salad. And the dinner options are more like what you'd find at a classic diner. Casa Pula Subs is often called iconic for its authentic Italian subs, but also because its six shops are family-owned and not franchises as most Cold. fast food chains are. Sandwiches can be ordered as wraps, 6-inch, 10-inch, and 12-inch subs. Meats and tomato sauce Ooh. are prepared daily. A bestseller is the chain's Italian sub, a huge okay. sub stuffed with Italian meats, cheeses, and seasonings. You can't that go can be wrong amped with up sandwich. with prosciutto for a buck extra, while the ribeye cheesesteak sub also gets raves. Oh, that'd be good. Voted in 2020 as the South's best barbecue by Southern Living, Four Rivers Smokehouse is shaking up long-held barbecue traditions. You'll find all of the barbecue classics oh. at its 14 Florida locations, like brisket and pulled pork. One item that people love is the burnt ends, which mixes brisket and- Oh, stop. Oh, stop. River Smokehouse, stop. And pulled pork that have been crisped up. Florida. For Len, in 2019, founder John Rivers introduced Beyond Burnt Ends. Okay, I'm going Florida. I'm going Rivers, uh, Rivers House. I'm going Rivers, uh, Rivers Smokehouse in Florida. That's where I'm going. This looks unreal, bro. A vegan version that proved so popular, it is now a regular on the menu. Four Rivers Southern Sides okay. are also must-have add-ons. Atlanta-based Waffle House has grown immensely since the first See one opened on in 1955. House. Its huge menu runs the gamut of stick-to-your-ribs cooking from all-day breakfast to later-in-the-day classic... Okay, I've seen Waffle House. Waffle House is good. What is that? That looks hideous what like this is good all day this breakfast really to later in the what day is, classic <laughs> dinners like pork chops country ham and t-bones waffle house uh, i don't think the picture's doing it justice they look dead what whoa <laughs> i know they're dead but like they look <laughs> they don't look that tasty it's cooking from all day breakfast to later in the day classic dinners like pork chops country ham and t-bones okay waffle house may have its critics oh, but consider ham? the fact that the late great anthony bourdain loved it as a safe place for quote the hungry the lost the seriously hammered all across the south right yeah i've heard that zippy People snaps many best of awards and in 2020 usa today included it in the top 10 best regional fast food chains. Wow. Zippy's has 24 locations on Oahu, Maui, and the island of Hawaii, with a unique menu that's a fusion of many different cuisines. Okay. You can snag the Zip Pack, Ooh. a plate of fried chicken, Ooh. hokey fish, terry beef, and Spam served on rice. Not if you want spam. a quintessential Hawaiian snack, nibble that? on a Spam masubi or some noodle dishes, sushi, and Zippy's famous chili, of which Zippy's reportedly makes 110 tons per month according to Dining Out. Her move. Yo, 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 yo. You guys do this a lot in America because I've seen it in so many videos. We don't do it in the UK. Like a pot of like chili like this. Oh my. Bro, if fast food did that in the UK, I'd literally order it every day. I would. I'm not kidding. I'm literally not kidding, right? For this week alone, right? No word of a lie. I, this is this is bad, like for my health. But the past three days, back to back to back, right? Just this week, the week's only started, by the way. The week we, we are on day, we are on Thursday. There's four days in the week, right? I've had McDonald's. I had McDonald's today, I had McDonald's yesterday, McDonald's day before. I'm gonna go out McDonald's tomorrow as well. Like, it's really bad, but that's my only choice. You know what I mean? Or cook food, I'm not really a good cook. So, yeah, bro. <sighs> we need more things on the item, on, on like items on the 
menus, man, and more options. We really do. Really oh God, do. This is good. Mom, that's not fair. My first French fry in eight years. With six locations in Idaho, Boise Fry Company is proud of locally sourcing pasture-fed beef and bison. Once uh, you pick the burger ooh. style you want, choose the protein. Beef, bison, mushrooms, turkey, or vegan protein. Not mushrooms. As for their famous fries, you get to choose the type of potato, how the spuds are cut, and finally, the dipping sauce and seasoning for both savory and sweet fries. Yo, this is customized to the max. You choose how they, the, how they cook? <laughs> Beefaroo has been serving beefy goodliness for over 50 years at its eight locations, mostly centered around Rockford, Illinois. Yeah. Beefaroo's quarter pounders that get lots good. of praise, but people really love the Wild West beef sandwich and cheddar fries. Wait, Did I just see that? One dollar? One? D get lots of There's praise. There's no way. But people really love the Wild West. That's not a dollar. Oh, dollar off. <laughs> Yo, I was gonna say, bro, if that's a dollar. Beef sandwich and cheddar fries, which for a buck more, you can get loaded with bacon, scallions, and ranch mm. dressing. Beefaroo shakes are also famous for their creativity. There is the basic vanilla and chocolate, but you can also choose this Jamocha, blue raspberry, or one of their seasonal specialty monster shakes like the Pink Flamingo or the Blue Unicorn. How do you eat that? Shoop's Hamburgers locations are clustered in the northwest corner of Indiana with classic aesthetics and, according to fans, delicious tastes. Shoop's has uh, received ooh. great press, with Dine Rank claiming its burger was utterly great. So why are Shoop's burgers so good? It's a fresh beef patty that's been smashed down on the griddle until it's seared and crispy on the edges, smashed which can down? then be topped with bacon, chili, barbecue sauce, jalapenos, and or mushrooms. Oh. Shoop's milkshakes also get a lot of love. I can't take this video no more. I can't. I'm tapping out. I'm tapping out. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm just jealous. Honestly, you guys get too much options. It, it's not fair. If you get too many options. It, it's not fair, bro. It's not fair. It's not fair. Iowa's not fast fair. food chain Made Right has been serving loose meat sandwiches since 1926. The sandwich is like a sloppy joe without the sauce. Made Right has pulled pork, fried How chicken, and fish sandwiches on the menu. But the most important reason We're for going full. to one of its Midwest locations is the loose meat sandwich, which you can order with three different cheeses. Iowans are passionately loyal to their homegrown sandwich, but out-of-towners rave about it, too. What did that be just Since messy? opening in 2002, Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers has become a fast food giant with over 300 locations across the U.S. Okay. Fans of the retro chain can't get enough of the grill-smashed, caramelized steak burgers, which oh. are all about the big beef taste and the texture. Oh. Freddy's egg-rich frozen custard comes two ways, as a sundae or a concrete, a shake so thick you can hold it upside down wait what do you mean a concrete <laughs> what, what do you mean it what <laughs> the shakes so big you can only upside down you just won't fall out how, how do you drink it then you you have to like spoon it the frozen custard is a fan Knife? favorite you can build your own sundae with their 32 oh, toppings Yes, KFC did actually originate from Kentucky, but according to Esquire, the best chicken in the world is found at Indy's fast food in Louisville. Wait, so you're telling me, you're telling me that <laughs> the best fast food chicken place in the UK, KFC, the most popular is not even the best in its own state in America, in its own state of Kentucky. Wow, nah. I, bro, you guys are just spoiled for choice. Indies has a handful Crazy. of locations in Louisville and one in Lexington. Indies focuses on fried chicken and wings. Wow. If you like hot and spicy, Indies spicy chicken is the best. But you'll also find ribs, fried catfish, and salmon, and other southern favorites. Oh, yeah. And remember that Indies famous potato wedges are not to be missed. A relatively new upstart to the that New Orleans dog. culinary scene is Dat Dog, which dogs. started out in 2011 as a simple hot dog stand. Dat Dog's outrageous oh menu offers the usual beef dogs and bratwurst. <sighs> Bro, we need fast food hot dogs in the UK. Bro, look at this. This is definitely by far my favorite looking one right here. See the guacamole, see the mustard, the onion. Oh my days, oh my days. Oh my days. I'm... How can I move to America? Like, how can I actually do that?
But then, things get all wild with special oh. sausages, like alligator, crawfish, and duck, as alligator. well as vegan menu items, too. What? Once you've picked your meat, you can choose from 30 toppings, which you can also add to their seasoned fries. If you're in Maine for the summer, find a Giffords ice cream stand. There are only five, all family-owned and only open from spring to summer. Oh, wow, Giffords cool. prides itself on locally sourcing ingredients from Maine. The stands have almost 60 flavors to try, like Maine Wild Blueberry, Strawberry Cake Crunch, and the whimsically named Maine Lobster Tracks or Unicorn Delight. Giffords recently partnered with the Boston Celtics for the team's official flavor, Full Court Pretz. That's cool. Since it opened in 1987, oh, Go, Chaps Pit Beef has racked up rave reviews, awards, and celebrity endorsements from Guy Fieri and awesome. other Food Network stars. Pit Beef is a Baltimore thing that's unlike other Southern barbecues. Chaps does it differently, over a grill instead of a stainless steel pit, but its pit beef stays true to the original and flavor. Chaps oh, wow. is known for their loaded pit beef sandwiches, served at five Maryland locations, but there's- My mouth is literally watering, <laughs> My mouth is horrid. There's a variety of other sandwiches on the menu, too. At Beloco, you can enjoy great Mexican food and feel good about it, too. The Boston-based chain good. is green certified, and Beloco strives to reduce its carbon footprint, quote, one burrito at a time. Originally called The Wrap when it opened in 1998, the founders changed the name to Beloco, short for Boston Local Company, in 2004. Right, Beloco's cool. burritos and bowls are customizable, so you pick <laughs> a protein and then choose from the many toppings and sauces. The Loco also has creative smoothies and smoothie bowls. Oh. National Coney Island has nothing to do with the New York amusement park. The Coney is a Detroit creation of a beef hot dog and a steamed bun, topped Aye. with chili, chopped raw onion, and yellow mustard. Oh. National Coney Island has chili 17 locations, mostly in northern Detroit. National C uh, Coney Island does not sound like a fast food place. <laughs> Coney's are on the menu, as is National's own creation, the Hani, their version of a chicken tender wrap. National even launched a competition between the Coney and the Hani to see which one customers preferred. Uh, which one? Keeping the menu oh, small wait. and focused has been the key to Twin Cities-based My Burger's success. My Burger has half a dozen beef burgers, some plain, some dressed up like the so Backdraft good. Burger or the Piggyback Burger oh, that's got a healthy days. dollop of pulled pork. You can also get veggie, chicken, and fish burgers, and an Impossible Burger. That pulled pork burger looked unreal, bro. At first glance, the menu might seem limited, but with all of the add-ons, you're really only limited by your imagination. One of the most beloved fast food chains in Mississippi is Ward's, which has been serving its signature Big One and Lil One burgers since 1978. Okay. Ward's is also famous for its chili and house-made... That a dirty. <laughs> that is some dirty-ass chili, man. ...root beer that employees make every morning, which can actually be purchased by the gallon at some locations. Oh, wow. Ward's breakfast menu also gets high marks. If you happen to be driving through the picturesque Pine Belt, where Ward's locations are clustered, stop in and pick up a bite. If you happen to be in the St. Louis vicinity and find yourself hankering for a really good roast beef sandwich... Lion's Choice. I'm expecting some big meat in this. Check out Lion's Choice. They've been slow roasting lean roast beef since 1967. See, you know what? Like... We don't have this kind of like meat in the UK. You know how like it's sliced and like in the burger, right? In the sandwich, whatever you want to call it. Um, we don't have that kind of style in the UK. So this is like the first time I'm seeing it. I definitely would try it. It probably tastes really good. But this literally looks like a lion has ate someone. And this is what it will be left over. <laughs> Beef is roasted medium rare and shaved extra it thin. Go, the beef is so good. lean that Healthy Kansas City recommended it as a healthy option. Really? A true rarity for fast food. What? Even if you get stuffed Ooh. to the gills with sandwiches, there's still always room for a mini cone of frozen custard. The Pickle Barrel is one of Montana's few regional fast food joints. The huh? Pickle Barrel started out in Bozeman and quickly became a favorite of nearby university students and locals. There what are only four locations. One is in South Dakota. Beef is king on the menu, with the cheesesteak sub getting a special mention, but the Bobcat mm. and Ken special on a pickle boat are also- This was insane. You know what? I just love chili. Like, if you see my videos, you know I love chili. This was so good. So popular. 
Nebraska's version of a Hot Pocket is called a runza. It is a baked crusty roll that's stuffed with beef, onions, and cabbage with roots in Germany and Russia. The yeah. runza is firmly fixed in Nebraskan culture, with 81 locations dotted throughout the state. The menu has nine runzas plus a mini, stuffed like hamburgers with oozy cheese, bacon, black beans, or mushrooms. Okay. You can also get burgers and crinkle fries and a combo of fries and onion rings called frings. Don Tortaco's Mexican Grill has 21 locations in Las Vegas oh, and la, is set up like other Mexican food competitors. Eggs? What? Do you put eggs in tacos? And yes, Don Tortaco's menu has all of the usual Mexican... <sighs> this right here, this right here. This. I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. Can fast food, like burritos, oh. tacos, and enchiladas, but it seems a lot more authentic. Not only is the food delicious, but it's reasonably priced as well. So stray off the strip and search out a Don Tortacos instead. Mo's Italian Sandwiches was opened in 1959 by Mo Pagano, and at the time, he sold only one sandwich, known as Mo's Original. Mo's now has 20 locations along New Hampshire's seacoast region, and the Yo, the fact that he's done all this just of selling one sandwich, you know that's a good sandwich. The menu has a lot more sandwiches. Reviews not only give Mo's a consistent five stars, but they're really passionate about the place. Mo's two hot sandwiches, Ooh. the meatball and pastrami, are also worth trying. And you guys like like your shredded meat, don't you? If you've got a hunger gnawing inside, choose the Mozilla. Jersey Mike sprung up in 1956 in a small town along the Jersey Shore. Back then, there were few franchises, so all of the mom and pop shops had to be good to survive. You love the sub songs. sandwich hadn't caught on yet, but that changed quickly <laughs> when Mike used the highest quality meats, vegetables, and bread for his sandwiches. You know what? I know why there's a lot of sub places here. Like, we have Subway, and that's about it in the UK, right? The only time I would ever consider getting a Subway is if, like, the weather's really hot. And that's probably why we're seeing so many subs here. Because in America, you guys get really hot weather. So, like, a sub would be good in hot weather. Like, you don't really want, like, a... Well, I would. I do eat burgers in the summer, but... You don't really want too hot, greasy when it's really hot. Like, you know when you're sweating kind of hot? Jersey Mike's has grown to nearly 2,000 shops across the U.S. The 2000? selection of cold subs and hot subs is massive. Oh, and the wow. big Kahuna cheesesteak is a favorite of devotees. Oh, yeah, that's good. When Blake Chancellor opened his first Lotta Burger in Lotta Albuquerque Burger. in 1952, he noticed patrons smothering his burgers with mm. green chilies they brought themselves and soon began adding the ingredient to his restaurant's menu. That is Blake's so good. Lotta Burger has grown to 93 stores and won awards for its green chili burger. Wow. The menu of Blake's Lotta Burger also has other burgers and sandwiches and breakfast burritos. That now, this is a company that takes, you know, they, they listen to their customers, bro. They're making burgers, right? And then the customers are bringing their own green chilies. And then like, you know what? Boom, we got, we got it for you. And now they're known for it. Hatch green chili Beautiful, burgers, crazy. though, are still the big draw. Frequently recommended as a must-try is Golden Crust, which a family of Jamaican immigrants opened in the Bronx in 1989. Okay. Golden Crust now has 138 locations. Nah, this is my favorite type of uh, rice. Rice with uh, kidney beans. Now we're talking, bro. Now, oh, I, bro, I, I'm telling you right now, I'm literally going to move to America after this video. Most of them in New York, where they serve Golden Crust flavorful Jamaican cuisine and stuffed pastries the chain is famous for. The breakfast menu might give you pause with the traditional Jamaican fare. Golden Crust patties are quite possibly oh. the most popular thing on the menu, to the Jamaican. point where you can even buy them from grocery retailers. Can I order these? Can I order Golden Crust? I, I need to see. Golden Crust, New York City Street. I need to see if I can order these to the UK because I love pies, bro. Wait, pizza pie? Oh, I want like a chicken pie. Pizza pie, what? Cookout has almost 300 locations in 10 states, all southern. Cookout is known for its char-grilled burgers and chicken, the bountiful and downright cheap combo trees, not to mention the over 40 different kinds of shakes on its 40. menu. Many diners also praise Cookout's chili, barbecue, and vinegary slaw that pairs perfectly with the burgers and pulled pork. Yo, 40 is crazy, bro. I've heard of burger time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Burger Time started out in Fargo in 1987, then expanded to other North Dakota locations, Minnesota, and South Dakota. Burger Time keeps its menu simple. There are seven burgers, but a couple of the cheeseburgers Ooh. spike up the heat with chipotle ranch sauce and jalapenos. <laughs> oh. The signature Bigger Burger and Mushroom Swiss Burger are popular too. 
Locals swear by Cincinnati's Skyline Chili, while out-of-towners often don't get it. Okay, yeah, I'm out of town, right? Listen, listen, listen. I've seen this in a video before, the Skyline C. I don't understand, bro. There's what, like, the cheese, right? <laughs> it's like, yo, it's spaghetti, right? Do you want any spaghetti with your cheese? The controversial chili was invented by a Greek immigrant in 1949 who was inspired by Mediterranean flavors like cinnamon and chocolate. Skyline's chili is beanless and is served over spaghetti and Mad. topped with a mountain of cheese with or without beans and onions. The chili also tops hot dogs, fries, steamed potatoes, and burritos. How much cheese? The Brahm family has been in the dairy and Ooh. ice cream business since the 1950s and opened the first Brahms in Oklahoma City in 1968. All good. the Brahms' nearly 300 locations are within a 300-mile radius of the main processing plant. Their ice cream is always a hit, but Brahms serves more than just that. The Los Angeles Times raved about Brahms' burgers and fries. I I've never heard of an ice cream place selling burger surprise and their spicy chicken the sandwich cream? is also delicious the kitchen when they if melt more it? fast food places did what burgerville does the world would be a better place oh, please, in 2009 please, please. burgerville ceo rolled out green initiatives for all locations in oregon and washington which improved quality and sales according to reuters two years ago the number six burger was debuted to promote sustainability and farmland regeneration oh, okay. the number six is made with grass-fed beef cheese from a local creamery and buns from a local bakery the burgers are big chicken sandwiches have organic chicken and the fantastic fish sandwiches are made with wild alaskan halibut the you know what's weird i i would never really opt for the fish sandwich but that fish sandwich actually looked better than the other two weird shakes made with local good. ingredients are fresh and delicious too along with the chain's onion rings Ooh. According to Food & Wine, Wawa isn't just a convenience store with fabulous fast food. It's a lifestyle. Ah. Wawa's are all over the East Coast, and its millions of patrons can seem downright cultish, according to the New York Times. It's a convenience store that's also fast food? What? Honestly, we can't blame them. Wawa's vast menu of hoagies, sandwiches, burgers, and so very oh much more are customizable and freshly made. Oh. Summer in Rhode Island means hot, steamy weather and Dell's frozen lemonade. With 101 locations in 11 states, Dell's is a lemonade empire. The basic recipe has been in the Delusia family since... To even have lemonade fast food, bro. <laughs> you guys have everything. You have everything! 1840, when a Naples ancestor combined snow, lemon juice, and sugar into one delicious drink. The wow. namesake lemonade is always on the menu, but there's also watermelon, blueberry, cherry, peach mango, grapefruit, and blood orange flavors too. I'm so too. jealous, man. Dell's has also collaborated- I'm so jealous that I don't even like lemonade that- Well, I like lemonade, but I just don't drink it. <laughs> ...and making lemon ice cream and cocktails. Russia started out in 1940 as one of the first fast food drive-ins in the nation. Okay. Today, there are eight locations situated in South Carolina. Okay, Russia's menu cool. has the usual burgers, dogs, and fries, all freshly made when ordered. The basic chain proudly looking, states, We prefer being authentic, straightforward, and unapologetically not a trendsetter. Right. Customers love the fried chicken, and if you feel so inclined, you can go so far as to order a half pound of barbecue pork as a side dish. As a side? B&G Milky Way has eight locations in Sioux Falls, each locally owned. Generally known as an ice cream shop, it's seasonal, opening in March or early April and closing in October for the winter. Right. B&G's food is hearty fast food, and their picnic basket combos come with baked beans, potato salad, and a soft drink. Bro, how good is that? Because that looks really basic. It excels at frozen treats, and their milkshakes have a dizzying array of flavors. Oh, wow, okay. It is impossible to miss Pal's sudden service <laughs> in Tennessee that? and Northern Virginia. The two-story Robin's Egg Blue drive through adorned with giant fast food is iconic and delicious. It literally looks like a, um, a fast food... Uh, theme ride. Burgers and Frenchie fries consistently win rave reviews, and the wow. breakfast biscuits are also winners. Oh, yeah. And definitely don't miss out on the cheddar rounds. Fried hash brown bites stuffed with cheddar cheese, which Ooh. are only served in the morning. Oh, that sounds good. Just like you like it. Customization's the name of the game at Whataburger, where you can dress up their limited selection of burgers in allegedly thousands of ways. 
Whataburger has been an obsession with Texans since its founding in 1950, and over the years, okay, they've added yeah. a spicy chicken sandwich and a limited time pico de gallo burger. A Portions lot. are large, and not everybody wants to feel weighed down, so there's also a lighter menu with items under 550 calories. That's According good. to Utah's Arctic Circle, its founder Don Carlos Edwards invented kids' meals. Arctic Circle's 70 locations are split between Utah and Idaho, and they're famous for Edwards' fry sauce, which, according to Eater, is mostly just specially seasoned ketchup and mayo. Arctic Circle wow, was also nice, one huh? of the first fast food places to serve Angus beef burgers. Another tasty favorite is Alaskan halibut that Arctic Circle assures is 100% <laughs> halibut. Ar you just have so many options, man. I'm so... M&M's. M &M. Arctic Circle shakes, many made with fresh fruit, are also widely praised. Oh, Vermont's Al's French that. Fries has a lot of the same menu items as other regional fast food joints, but it made its mark by winning the James Beard Foundation America's Classics Award and shouldn't be missed. It is expected that Al's fries are the best fries people ever had, right, but the yeah, pizza surely. burger is a hit too, as is the ice cream. Ooh. With a great atmosphere and great food, Al's french fries is Vermont's best fast food. Elevation Burger could well be the only fast food chain where you can order a 10 patty stacked burger. Bro, who's eating that? Who is, comment right now if you'll be able to eat that. Who is eating that? That also happens to be 100% organic, grass-fed beef. No Elevation way. Burger is headquartered in Falls Church, where it began in 2005, and has 19 locations divided between Virginia, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. According to Sever, Elevation was the first organic fast food joint out there. In addition to Elevation's beef burgers, they also have three plant-based burgers, and chicken can be ordered fried or grilled. Uh, the olive oil options. french fries are delicious, and the service is spot on, too. <clears throat> Based in Renton, Washington, Taco Time Northwest has been family-owned and run for nearly 60 years. When Taco was pronounced Taco, according to the Renton Reporter, Taco Time Northwest now has 79 locations in and around Seattle. The menu has a wide range of freshly made Mexican food standards that can be ordered a la carte or as combos. Tater fries are a particular favorite. Taco Time Northwest also has several healthy choices, like that? chicken chili that fans love, along with friendly service, value, you okay. and portion size. According to Eater, Tudor's Biscuit World might very well have invented the biscuit sandwich. It's only been around since the 1980s, but is now firmly entrenched in the lives of West Virginians. I can't believe, like, that biscuit is, you can either have gravy on it, you can use it as the buns for the sandwich. Like, I really want to try one when I get to America. The breakfast biscuits, all made from scratch daily, and what platters are served 5.30 a.m. to 2 p.m., when most Biscuit Worlds close. A few locations yeah. serve Tudor's country dinner menu, but you have to hunt to find the locations open until 7 p.m. The biscuits, though, do not disappoint, Ooh. being huge, fluffy, and also deliciously drenched with country gravy. Right, listen, right. I say all because I've seen so many videos of the biscuits and gravy, right? And I know for a fact, there's no way it tastes bad. There's no way. It must taste amazing. So now I'm like... Be before, I used to be like, uh, that is horrible. But now I'm like, ooh, because I've seen that many like reactions from it. I just know it's good. And I haven't even had it. I just can't wait to have it now. In 1984, Craig and Leah Culver, along with Craig's parents, opened the very first Culver's in the family's beloved hometown of Sauk City, Wisconsin. Over the years, Culver's has evolved into the Midwest fast food force it is today and now has 829 locations. Yo! Culver's has a big menu, but the chain is most famous for the Butter Burger, <laughs> a smash-style grilled burger on a buttered bun, frozen... What is smash burgers? Do you actually get a hammer and just smash it? ...custard and cheese curds. The idolized Butter Burger is a clear contender in the National Burger Wars, and with all of the mix-ins, the frozen custard also lives up to its reputation. Okay. Based in Cheyenne, Wyoming, Taco John's grew from a taco stand to one of the largest Mexican fast food chains. Taco John's is also quite controversial in claiming to have invented Taco Tuesdays, which the company has trademarked. Tacos no and way. burritos dominate the menu, but the seasoned Trade fluffy on the inside crunchy potato olays is passionately praised too. Not Wait, what does that mean if you tra trademark Taco Tuesdays? The other companies can't sell ta tacos on Tuesdays? <laughs> 
<laughs> or they just can't call it that. Not all locations are the same in the nearly 400 franchises, but Taco John's service mm. and food usually get positive reviews for freshness and big flavors. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Oh, but now I'm starving. Now I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm jealous. And I'm getting a flight to America right now. But great video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Which one of those fast food chains are your favorite? I need to know. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.